Is it a necessity for a Christian wife to be on top of her husband and ride him? Is it compulsory? Should a Christian woman actually do that? Is it a sin? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for the support, for the love, and then for subscribing. To those who haven't subscribed, you can do so now because trust me, you're not going to miss anything on this channel. You're going to gain a lot. My name is Francisca A. Chefu. You can call me Franca Choice. I am a certified couples and family therapist. And I am particularly passionate about helping Christian couples maintain a healthy marriage through tips, through my experience, knowledge, and everything I can grab from the word of God just to help you enjoy intimacy in marriage. You see, it is a necessity for you to enjoy intimacy. God made this thing for you to enjoy. So I don't know, why are you not enjoying it? Drop in the comment section. I want to know what are the problems you're facing in your marriage. I can do a video concerning that on my next video. Are there any problems you're facing concerning your intimacy? Talk to me, talk to me. All right, back to the uh, introductory question. Is it a sin for a Christian woman to get on top of her husband? Is it a sin for a woman to actually take the lead in bed? For a woman, a, a Christian bedmatician to, you know, get on with it. <laughs> Please tell me where it's a sin in the Bible. Show me the Bible passage where that is stated as a sin. It's not. In fact, God Almighty will be happy when you take the lead like that. I'm not saying not allow the man do his things in bed. Guess what? When you take the lead, that is when you flip that man over, tell him, honey, I got you. Let me thrill you to some moves. When you flip him over, the man self will be amazed because women hardly initiate sex. Why? Women hardly initiate sex. And your men... Your men of God, be it your pastors, your bishop, your reverend, whoever your man is. Most of you Christian women, yes, you, you, you date men that are also workers in God's vineyard. The fact that they are concerned about the things of God doesn't mean that this aspect should suffer. It's left to you to take that lead. Do things in a different perspective, in a different way and see how your husband reacts. Okay. So I'm coming up with a masterclass where I'm going to teach you ladies how to man, how to man the bedroom, the bedroom power. Hey, God. Like I said, God will be happy with you. You see, God does not cover his eyes when you guys are having sex. No, he doesn't close it up. He's there saying, do it, baby girl. Come on, hit the nail on the head. Come on, get on top. Yes. If you, if you could see God chain you on physically, that is what he will literally be saying. Yeah, just kidding. But I'm just saying, truly, God is there. His presence is there, indwelling in you, indwelling in your husband. So God is in the midst of you guys. You and your husband, as you're doing the do, enjoying each other's feel, he's there. And it's a boredom. It's boring when you are just laying there without participating you know you can participate in the act of love making and not let your husband do your work some of you are just so lazy get your act together how lazy can you be you've been married for five years 10 years 20 years and this man has been the one writing you from jesus have mercy on you surprise this man for crying out loud you can do it it's not hard work it is learned. The acts can be learned. I'm coming up with a masterclass. I have taught a bit of this movement, you know, the movement of the body, the movement on how, how a woman can be on top of her husband. I've taught about it in um, a few of my courses. Have you gotten my courses? Oh, yeah. Let me also use this medium to say my, my website, bedmatics101.com, is now launched. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yay. You can Google bedmatics101.com and then shop for any of our ebooks or courses, any of our um, digital products, affordable prizes. All right. So I was saying, I have already taught some of these movements in my courses. The two courses I have already. The first one is a libido booster. 
the libido booster is to help every married couples enjoy intimacy boost their libido up you, you see different ways to boost your libido and then i came up again with an added solution aside the normal norms i added a, a solution that has been tested and trusted and tried that actually help people go on and on and on so whatever it is you're facing hey hey i'm proud of my work oh, and i'm proud of the the knowledge the skills god have given me to bless couples so if you're facing erectile dysfunction low sperm count low libido dryness men women any problem your sexual problems you're facing get the libido boosting boosting cost all the things i did there Actually, it's worth 50,000 Naira. In Naira now, they had a, there's a dollar price to it. But I capped it at 24,000. After the course, if you want to give me back the 26,000, you're free to do it. But just enjoy that 24. Discounted. I reduce the price for everybody to get this. You need to get, you need to spark up, ignite that spark, your sexual uh, spark. You need to know what to do. You, there is help. I explain natural aphrodisiacs, natural spices and herbs you can use to spark things up. Get the curse, get on it, and be proud of the journey you're going to get on. All right, so yeah, I did a bit of the styles how a woman can. Man bedmatics. Yeah? Man a bedmatics game. So I have a bit of it. I have more of it. I have much more in my bedmatics 101 course for every christian married couples yes i have another course called bedmatics 101 for every christian married couples more of those styles are in there to help you show you your waist movement how you my god i took my time to really do this shooting so you should get that course too if you're a newlywed if you're married for years if you also oh my goodness if you just want to spark things up if you're married for 20 50 years you can get this if you need to get it for your children now, just getting married, you should get this is like a manual for every marriage. You know, in marriage, you're not giving a manual, you just you just basically get married, get a certificate, and start working on the certificate you've gotten <laughs> on like every other institution. So you need this. Yes, you get it on our website too, the Bedmatics 101. So you need this. So I have now much more to teach you, ladies. So much more. So let me know in the comment section. I want the master class put it in the comment section because it's going to come up in october i am going to come up with this master class in october it's going to be power packed you're going to learn how to unlock that stiffness that stiffness will break you and make you will make you will show you how to become so flexible that you will not start hurting your knees will not start hurting I mean, if you don't want your knees to start hurting, so if you don't know how to even balance in bed, I'm going to show you practical ways. I'm going to be the one acting it all out. We'll even do live sessions. We're going to be joined into a community. It's going to be a fantastic time of our lives. Trust me, if you cannot wait, let me know if you cannot wait for this. And then i will speed up the process okay it's gonna be fun exciting you're gonna unlock your potential as a as a, as a woman unlock that femininity inside of you first for your own pleasure have you been meeting orgasms have you been getting you many women have not met have not gotten orgasms many women have not climaxed i swear to you the, the category of people that i've spoken to a whole lot of them over 70 percent of them do not know what orgasm means. Have you actually had an orgasm in your marriage? Or are you just having sex for the sake of it? Ah, it's a bad thing. No? You've not enjoyed that peak of excitement where your brain, where whew, your whole body is, oh, geez, I can't even explain that feeling. You've not gotten to that place where the sweetest thing there is. It's so sweet. It's so exciting, an exciting feeling. That peak that you can't even control things. You can't even help it. You would want him to stop, but then you want him to continue. Your body is jittering and then mm, you just stay happy all through. Releasing the happy hormones. You need to experience this as a woman. You need to unlock your sensual you 
you need to know how to you know you need to understand what movement in bed pleases you you need to understand your body and your pleasure zones what movement in bed pleases you and what distracts you you need to know this because some people some women don't even know these things i'm here to help you especially my christian wives i'm here for everyone but especially because we are the ones that hide under religion okay so get ready for the master class but then i'm just i'm just doing this video to educate you all on the need for you to take over the bedroom game yeah your bedmatics game you need to take over seriously you can't remain the same yesterday today till forever more you're not god only God can remain the same. There's a need to change. There's a need to put in the work. There's a need to be more flexible. There's a need to need to be sensual. There's a need to, oh my God, take the lead. Flip him over. If you flip your husband over and tell him, when I say flip him over, is he's on top. Then you take over and say, baby, you just, you know, you know how you just push him down and like mount him. And my goodness, you know what it makes the men uh, think? They start to think they are wanted actually they, they they feel wanted they feel loved because women hardly initiate sex and men want them to your husband surely wants you to initiate sex so if you are not initiating and you start to initiate trust me their love for you will just <whistles> because guess what that's what the side chick of the world and that's what all the other worldly people get to do if you see a man being attracted to another woman aside his wife, what actually keeps his eyes out there is one of the reasons is the sex. And then that she also makes him feel wanted. She's always calling him. She's always texting him. She always wants to get on him. She wants to ride. She always wants to give him a blowjob. She always wants to do one or two things. So you should be able to fit into that role. And I do not want you to have the mindset of trying to please your husband and that's all you want to do to get this knowledge for no that's why i started with yourself first for your own pleasure first and then to please your husband all right it's a necessity so have that at the back of your mind that it is a necessity a woman ought to also initiate sex you ought to also change the bedroom games do things differently to get a different result yeah and guess what before i call it a day the fastest way for you to get pregnant is when you climax. Yeah, take that to the market, take that anywhere. For you to get pregnant fast, in case you're married and you've not gotten pregnant for a while, you've been trying for a baby or you've gotten pregnant before, you've not had a child or, or you're having a delay whatsoever. Fastest way for you to get pregnant is for you to have an orgasm. Hmm? That is your husband now gets you to climax after getting you to climax he penetrates and then releases inside of you that is grand finale do that repeatedly and you will see the results i am telling you that is tested and trusted it has happened to me it happened to my friends it happened to certain people i told about this jeez this tips you will thank me try this and thank me you see you should know that women hardly not all women uh gets the climax from penetrative sex so if you're thinking you're gonna if you're waiting on your husband to get you to climax through penetration it doesn't always work like that only a few women yeah do that but so your husband have to engage in oral sex so that you can get you to climax engage your clitoris to clitoris stimulation and all of that gets you to climax when you have climax when you've come then he goes inside of you and complete the job and then releases it inside ah uh, ah uh, do that three times at least and see the result, especially during the period of your evolution. Hey, God. No problem. <laughs> Thank you for staying to the end of the video. <laughs> Try this. Let me know if you're going to be trying this. Type in the comment section. I can't wait for you to testify. Yes. All right. I'll see you on my next video. Have you subscribed at this point? Do well to subscribe, like, share this video to help someone. And also go on my website now, www.betmatics101.com to shop for my digital products. The courses, like I mentioned, and the books. I have amazing books. I have a hundred things husbands hardly tell their wives. One hundred and one things wives hardly tell their husbands. 21 days. 
Declaration and affirmation. Oh, you need that book. 21 days of declaration. What you say is what you become. You keep speaking. We're speaking beings. So yes, those words in those books are powerful. In that book, rather, is powerful. Then I have the Ben Matic 21 book as well. Make your spouse long to spend forever with you in six different steps. You will be amazed at that book. It is an amazing power packed book all of them are amazing then i have a free book too go on the website if you want to get my free ebook on intimacy boost to boost intimacy you will be glad go on the website to get a free ebook it's all there don't just go on the website to get a free ebook alone you need other tools to help boost your intimacy with your spouse okay all right thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for liking for sharing for commenting i love you all see you on my next video